Two hours north of Dallas, only miles from the Red River, lies nearly 50 years of memories. In the midst of the nearly 800-acre Stallings family ranch lies Jean and Ruth Ann's only son. August 2nd, 2008, the day John Mark Stallings left us. You come out here every day, every yeah. morning. Yeah, just come and sit. You see, we got some benches there, and ordinarily they would be in here, but I'm trying to get some winter grass growing where it'll look a little nicer. Upon birth, he was given a year to live, but John Mark Stallings bucked the odds. He brought 46 years of joy and life lessons to thousands. He was just yeah. a good person. Yeah, just didn't know a bad word. 46 years old, didn't know one. Uh, just saw the good in everybody. This sounds a little sin. I'm not sure he wasn't an angel. I mean, he just, he was just a precious little child. Alabama football fans grew to love John Mark in the 90s when the coach's son became a part of the Crimson Tide landscape. We'd go down to the training room. He, he thought the big deal was put a little ice on. But he just put a little ice on the player, help him get well. After winning the national championship, the head coach would receive the ultimate compliment. Now, a little quiet time right there after the game, he said, yeah, good job, Bob. Life on the ranch in Paris, Texas is good. Gene and Ruth Ann enjoy fresh air, a beautiful home. Their four daughters and many grandchildren visit often. But while the coach has felt the disappointment of losing games, he now deals with the pain of losing his best friend. You know, I'm hurting. Uh, I'm hurting inside. Uh, you know, I, I can hear him. I, you know, I, I want to go check on him. I, I want to ask him what he wants to do tomorrow. I, you know, it's just things that we've done uh, for a long time. John Mark was a fighter to the end. The night before his passing, his father made his way down the hall to Johnny's bedroom, where he lay. I don't think I'll ever complain about anything again. I, I really don't. Here's a little guy just couldn't breathe at all, and, and he said, I'm fine. The next morning, John Mark was gone. If you could just have one wish, for your child, just one. You'd wish that they would spend eternity in heaven. I felt like Johnny had a one-way ticket. Sometimes we don't realize what we have until we lose it. But the Stallings family has known for years just how much they have been truly blessed. When you walk out to his gravesite in the morning and you sit on that bench, what are you thinking about? I try to think back of uh, the good things and maybe if he were alive, what would he want to be doing? Love to go look at the cows. Uh, you know, that's what, that was one of his favorite things to do. He said, Pops, let's go look at the cows. He, you know, he might go to sleep as we were driving down, but he would always say, I love the farm on a beautiful day. You look forward to be reunited with him? Yeah, I do. In fact, I've said this, this may sound silly, but I really don't mind dying. You know, I, uh, because I'm going to be reunited with Johnny. So, I, you know, I love doing what I'm doing and, and right here and, and everything, but it's going to take the sting away from dying as far as I'm concerned. You know, and I've said this a number of times, I, I prayed to God that he would change Johnny, but you know, God changed me. He made a difference in our lives. And hopefully we made a little difference in his.